Hey everyone, and thanks for joining. Uh, my name is Josh, and I'm just going to give you a quick run through showing how I come up with color palettes. It's just one quick trick I use to come up with quick, nice, cohesive color palettes without having to spend a lot of time or use a color uh, color wheel tool somewhere in, an, in another app. It can all be done in Excel. So here's the process. Pretty easy, nothing crazy, and I uh, hope you guys find it useful. So first things first, I select a background color. Uh, for this exercise, you want to choose a background color that isn't pure black or pure white. Um, and that's just true in general, but in this case, we're going to do a dark background color. So choose a dark, dark color. It can be any color you want. In this case, I did a really dark green blue. Once you got your background color added in, I want you to insert a rectangle. That's what I did here. It's under the insert tab for shapes. And once you get your rectangle inserted, I want you to open up the properties menu for it. That is going to be size and properties. And when you do the fill color, choose solid fill, but then do your transparency at somewhere between 80 and 95%. In this case, I did 85% transparency. And this is gonna be my starting color. So what this is, is it's just a lighter version of the background. Um, and it, because of the fact that it's using the background color as the base, it's kind of it, it automatically looks fairly built in or cohesive with the overall design that I have here. So after you have that, go ahead and hop over and create another rectangle. And when you create this rectangle, you're just going to do the same thing: go to the rectangle, insert it, drag it, drop it in there. What I want you to do for the color is I want you to open up the other colors this area where it says more colors. Make sure you're on the color wheel tab and take your original rectangle, use the color drop, dropper tool right here, click on your other color, and then I want you to imagine that there is a circle around the center at the same radius as what you have selected. So just imagine a circle like this. See how there's a circle here? And then imagine that you're just rotating this around that circle. And as you rotate around that circle, you're going to get new colors in each kind of uh, in each hue. So you're going to get greens to yellows to reds to pinks and purples and blues. And you can rotate a few degrees at a time and get a bunch of different colors. So let's look. I don't. I believe. You know, it's not going to update in real time. But let's go ahead and like we can try right here. Okay. There you go. We've got a color, a different color, different hue, but still sort of the same. Uh, same level of brightness, same level of saturation. It just kind of fits in with the other colors in the design. Uh, let me adjust this one. I think we want this to be made up blue because we don't have a great blue in here. Purple blue. Okay. So you can do that a few times, get a few different colors, and you've got a nice base for your design. If you want to change the brightness of these, for example, right now these are pretty toned down. So this is like if I have bright elements on top, I might have this toned down background. But if you want brighter elements, you can go in here and for your starting color, you can either make the starting color a little less transparent. But if you do that, it's not going to be super saturated. It might look a little gray like this. So you alternatively can just pick whatever starting color looks good. Maybe it's picking a color from your uh, brand's logo. Maybe it's just going on the color wheel here and just finding a color that you like. Um, let's try, I don't know, maybe that. Let's see what that looks like. Oh no, that's, there we go. Um, let's go a little bit brighter, just as a, for an example here. A little more saturated. So if you do it this way, you can do the same exercise where you do the color dropper tool and then look at where it is, look at where your um, color selection is on the wheel, the distance from the center, and then rotate it around and you'll get a similar effect. So let's do it real quick in real time. Color, more colors. There we go, we've got about that distance. Let's rotate over here, boom. And then we have two colors that are roughly, you know, they look like they're roughly cohesive. You can adjust them, tweak them, whatever you want, but this is a nice trick. And if you're using fully saturated colors like this, you can also just give them a tiny bit of transparency, um, and that will also help them all look a little more cohesive as well. So that's just one quick way that I come up with color palettes in Excel, especially for dark colored themes. Uh, if you want free templates like this, you can hop on my newsletter. I've got a link below. I also have a more, co more comprehensive template with a bunch of colors included as well, which I'll link below as well. Thanks so much for joining, and I'll see you next week.